Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and you guys, it's finally time for my get ready with me. I am so excited for this video. I've wanted to film one for a while, and I always get, okay, and the main reason I'm filming this is because I always get so, so many questions from you guys, like, hey, how's your health, or hey, what's up with this, what does this mean, or what are your favorite shows, and these are questions that I get so often from you guys, and I never really have a way of just, like, answering them and actually diving into it with you, and I thought for today's video, for once, I'm going to just sit down, do my makeup, and answer your guys' questions. So what I did is I reached out to you guys over on Instagram. I didn't have a lot of notice for this, and I apologize if I would have thought it all the way through. I would have put it up earlier, but I did put it up for about an hour or so and gave you guys a chance to respond. I actually have some really great questions, and I'm super excited to dive in. All right, so I got my hair good and put back, and before I dive into my first product, let's pick a question here. All right, so the first question we have here is from Vanessa Helen Rose, and it says, what's your favorite eyeshadow palette, makeup product, places to visit in Michigan? Thank you, mwah, and girl, mwah, back to you. By the way, anything I use in today's video, Tatcha Silk Canvas, I will have it listed down below. But to get to her first question, she said, what's your favorite eyeshadow palette? Now, this is a good question. Your girl loves a lot of eyeshadow, and I wanted to know from you guys, do you want me to do a video on, like, my first half of the year favorite eyeshadow palettes? Because I was thinking about it the other day, and I've had this question asked me a couple of times, what's your favorite this, what's your favorite that, when it comes to eyeshadow? And the reality is, I touch so much makeup, and I love so many palettes for so many different reasons, but I thought thought it would be really cool if I could go through and tell you guys like look these are my favorite things that have come out this year in the eyeshadow game and obviously because it'd be the halfway checkpoint I would try to only include things that were like January to halfway through the year because I know right now we're technically a little over halfway but what do you guys think of that is that something you'd be into because for me to sit here and tell you my favorite eyeshadow palette girl how much time you got more than I got right now let me tell you that because I love eyeshadows so let me know down below if you guys like that idea or not because I have so many favorites that have already come out um, that it would it would take me a minute so I want to know from you guys do you want to see that leave it down below now to answer your next question what's your favorite makeup product I'm gonna have to go with highlight I think that that's probably the one product that I mean yes you can go like mascara you can go brows brow gel that sort of thing but I feel like highlight just makes your skin look so glowy and so healthy but even when my skin is having its own moment and it really needs some TLC I feel like no matter what a version of highlight is always just so flattering um, and I I just love good glowy skin so I'm gonna have to go highlight and then your final question was places to visit in Michigan now I will first off start by telling you your girl here is a northern MI girl so I a lot of places, like if you're from the city, you're going to be like, oh, dude, you got to go to Detroit, like the Ford Museum. Those places are really, really awesome. If you're into automotive at all, they have like the history of Ford, um, and it's an amazing museum. My parents and I went a couple of years ago. But if you're wanting to see the Michigan that I would think, like, this is what everybody needs to see, first things first, you have to go to the UP. The UP is the Upper Peninsula, because you guys, the UP is just it. Like, it has everything all wrapped into one that is so pure Michigan. Ha, <laughs> pure Michigan, listen to me. I'm such a spot of Michigan. I'm like, yes, girl, everybody needs some Michigan. But it's true. I feel like Michigan is one of those places that it is just, once you're here, even if you're from the city, once you're here, you're like, wow, how have I lived my life without existing here? Keeping in mind, of course, I am biased because I am born and raised in Michigan. But when I think of home, when I think of homey and farms and country and the sky at night and stars and like scenery and national parks, I think there's just something about the UP that centers people. It doesn't matter where you're from. Um, whether it's like the city, you know, if you're from New York, even downstate Michigan people will go up to the UP to just get away and enjoy some serenity. And there's something about the UP that just grounds you. So if I had to say, you know, you really need to go somewhere for that type of experience, I would say you definitely 1000% would have to go to the UP. If you're wanting to know like other fun places, I think Traverse City, Michigan is a great place to go. Um, it's one of the bigger, like more metropolis type areas. It's probably the closest thing that North Northern Michigan has to a big city. Oh my god, you guys I almost forgot. Brawners. Oh my, if you are ever in Michigan and you do not stop in in Frankenmuth, Michigan and go to Brawners, <gasps> what are you doing with your life? Brawners is a gigantic Christmas store. And I'm not saying gigantic. Like, you're. When I say a gigantic uh, Christmas store, girl, we are talking like 
like two, three, four Walmarts all put into one. It is amazing. If you're a Christmas aholic at all, oh my god, not only the store Bronner's is amazing, but like all of Frankenmuth is this adorable little fudgy little tourist trap. And it is so, so, so cute. You'll go there, they have a ton of little shops, so obviously you can do like shopping, you can see the locals, and it's really just this adorable little town feel that I live for. Um, ooh, ooh, and the other good favorite, and then I'll move on to another question. I think everyone should enjoy Mackinac Island. <gasps> Mackinac Island is so good, you guys. Like, you can go to the fort, um, you can go, and it's an island all by itself, for those of you that don't know. There are no cars on the island. Like, no cars are allowed on the island. So it's all driven by horses. Like, there's little horse and buggies you can take, or people bike the island all the time. Like, that's what you do, is literally bike around the island. And if you go to school in Michigan, a lot of kids here uh, end up going over there for, like, a field trip, and that's, like, part of your phys ed um, requirement is that you have to bike the island um, and it's just such an amazing place though you can see the fort so there's a ton of history if you're into that um, there's also a bunch of shops they're known for their fudge oh my god there is <laughs> the fudge is iconic let's be real here all right guys so this is where I'm at right now I had to take a little bit of a moment I finished setting my face I bronzed I blushed and all of that time not only was the camera not recording um, my mic went out and then I tried to load my Instagram questions from you guys and nothing would come up on my phone so I apologize, but I bronzed, I blushed, we're baking, and I am going to, while this sits, answer a couple questions and like make up for it. So get it, makeup, makeup. Oh my god, <laughs> so clever, but not. So let's go ahead and chit chat. God, this is actually looking so nice. <laughs> Next one up here is how did you become a business owner and a hashtag lady boss? Oh girl, <laughs> hashtag lady boss, look at my face. <laughs> Me, I'm such a lady boss page how you take yourself seriously okay so to answer your question well it's it's a couple fold so um how did I become a business owner and a lady boss would be <laughs> I feel so weird every time I say that see I never think of myself as like this woman that other people or kids or like young women I never think of someone that someone else would look up to in that way so I'm always like I'm no lady boss but I guess like I kind of am oh <laughs> self-confidence is growing by the moment honey the ending and beginning of this whole saga is that basically I was in college um, I did a couple years at my community college. I was going to go pre-med at a college downstate, which I was really, really into. I wanted to be a doctor so bad, ironically enough. And um, as I was getting ready to do all of these things and really make that next move in my life, I got really sick. And the long and short of it, again, is that they ended up finding a brain tumor. And then I started ending up having all of these other issues. For those of you that don't know, <laughs> I have a tumor. Sorry if you didn't know. Um, it's not like non-cancerous. It's, it's nothing like that. But I do have it. It causes me a lot of issues, which, again, I can get into in another in another video because it's it's a story let me tell you but in conjunction with that tumor they also found other stuff they found like IBSD arthritis spinal issues and so on and so forth and again long story short without diving into too much monotonous information um, I ended up not going away to college because I got so sick I lost over a hundred pounds I couldn't eat I couldn't function and to date you guys I am just so grateful I just as a side note that all of this happened and this is the proof that like even when everything that we want in life gets derailed and everything goes to hell in a handbasket. This is like the one thing I go back to that I cling to that there's somebody out there that's got my back. Like God has got me so much harder than I could ever imagine because I try to imagine my life flipped around. Like what if I had gotten sick just one year later? What if I had gotten, or what if I had never went to the doctor? What if I had never gotten so sick that I ended up getting, you know, losing over a hundred pounds and literally almost starving to death. And like my, my body functions were actually declining. What if none of that would have happened? I can tell you what would have happened. I would have ended up trying to go away to school down to a pre-med school where the curriculum would have been so rigorous and so difficult I would have gotten even more sick it would have exacerbated my symptoms even worse so I would have been sicker then I would have been tens and tens of thousands of dollars in debt and unable to finish my degree because ultimately all of these things still would have happened because that's life and I just think to myself like if there's one message that I can drive home before I even answer your question let the things that are going to happen in your life happen because even though they suck at the time and even though they might suck period it's okay that they suck because you're experiencing things that 
you for whatever reason need to experience so fast forward a little bit through all of my gratefulness um, during all of this time I'm getting really sick my poor father ends up working he worked at the same place for I think it was 15 years and the business that he worked for the owner decided he wanted to completely restructure restructure meaning he wanted to get rid of literally all the physical work that they did and convert only over to one specific installation so basically my dad was the fabrication department he did he built everything my dad is insanely talented and I'm not saying that because I'm partial he's just insanely talented and um, when he when this transition happened uh, basically the owner of the business went to my dad and said you know do you want to basically buy this business you can still you'll have the same space the same equipment you'll just run it under you like is that something you're interested in and my dad thought about it and he's like you know what yes because like what else like what do we have to lose and going into owning the business I got super sick and I was like you know dad like can I just help you with anything I feel worthless because you know when you're younger and you have all these dreams and you're like I'm gonna be a doctor and I'm gonna contribute and I'm gonna help my family and I'm just gonna be all of these things and I'm gonna cry mmm mmm but who that hit me like a brick honey and there's powder under my eyes I do not think so because all we're gonna do is make mud and that's not an option Uh, -uh we don't want no mud how about we go ahead and wipe off this powder though who girl but long story short um, what ended up happening is like I said I wanted to feel useful and so my dad and I you can actually hear him He's making noise in his garage. Uh, it's really loud, by the way. I apologize. I'm sure you guys can hear it. He's got his needle scaler out. And for those of you that don't know what a needle scaler is, it literally goes at like 1,000 irritating decibels per second. And wait, listen. Wait, you hear that? that's that um, and there's no getting him to stop by the way because my dad never stops working or tinkering or whatevering so that's just gonna be there anyways so I wanted to help and before I knew it my dad and I were just in business together so I guess to answer your question how did I become a business owner and a lady boss I got very very sick and I took a chance on my dad and he took a chance on me and we just went into business and honestly I wouldn't trade it for anything alright so the next question here is from Tazi P Tazi P Girl, I'm butchering this so bad. But her question was, I'm fairly new to your channel and I want to know why are you called Seeking Alexandria? But to answer your question, I am going to give a slightly abridged version because I have talked about this before, but I know I have a ton of new subscribers and I get this question a lot. So, um, all of you know my name is Paige. I say that at the beginning of literally every video, um, but my middle name is Alexandria. And when I was younger, a, I hated the name Paige. I'll tell you right now, hated it, hated it so much. Literally would wish that my name had been anything else. And you know how when you're younger, you'll give like the wrong characteristics to things that just don't they have nothing to do with the other um, well that's what I did with my name I was convinced that I was this short stupid weird fat little girl and I was all of these things because my name was Paige and I used to say like oh well if my name was Alexandria I would be tall I would be beautiful if I was Alexandria I would be adventurous but because I'm just Paige I'm just this and that was something I did literally my entire life growing up like to the point where as I got older, I experimented for, with a little phase where I would like look at myself in the mirror and call myself Alex, call myself Alexandria. And I really was trying to find that piece of myself that I felt like was really missing so now fast forward all these years later I wanted to have a channel name that meant something I wanted to have a channel name that for me embodied not just who I am right now but was me searching for the best version of myself if that makes sense um, I wanted to always be in search of that girl that was adventurous that was strong and beautiful and intelligent like that girl that could literally do anything and kick the world's ass while she did it that's the girl that I wanted to be and I wanted I was in search of that girl and so my channel name is Seeking Alexandria because that's the woman I'm seeking. I'm seeking the adventurous me. I'm seeking all the things that I wanted to be. I am seeking um, the counterpart to that little girl when I was younger to show like young Paige that you are that girl. That girl is you. You just have to find her. You just have to embrace her. Um, you are beautiful and you don't have to seek somebody else for that. That's you seeking yourself. And so for me, Seeking Alexandria wasn't just a makeup name. Seeking Alexandria wasn't just a persona. It wasn't just some name that I came up with that arbitrarily sat on my channel um, for me I wanted the name to be going forward me going from where I started to where I'll end up and I think a lot of it too for me is that I don't want to just be spoiler alert by the way I've been here for two years in beauty and I love it and I love reviews and I don't plan on stopping literally anytime soon but you know in five to ten years I would love to be someone on the internet where I have beauty and I do reviews and I do this stuff but I also do lifestyle and fashion and I can be 
and empowering middle-aged woman for other young women because someday I know I'm gonna be you know in my 30s in my 40s in my 50s and my goal for that area and that time in my life is that I will always be seeking my own Alexandria but I want to be able to be a channel that is there or a person that is there for other people who are seeking their own Alexandria they're seeking their own Derek they're seeking their own um, Michelle they're seeking their own best versions of themselves and I want to be able to be there and and have this entire life laid out on the internet that says look this is where I started this is who I am and you can also seek out the best parts of yourself all right so I hope that that answers that question because your girl could literally go on forever um, but now we're gonna dive in to eyes and just so you guys know your girl is really gonna be playing around today because I need to use these Jeffree Star palettes the new jawbreaker collection I did a full review I can link it up there um, I just really want to play around I think I want like some orange on top purple on the bottom moment I don't want anything too over the top but I just want I just really want to play with these all right you guys so countless creepula creep creepula creep creepula creepula like spatula I'm way off here wow I apologize guys I never should have said screen names because I'm not good at this but your girl asks what are your favorite movies now I'm gonna say instead of just movies because yes I like movies but that's a really short category but we're also gonna talk about shows because oh my god girl I got shows for days so let me go ahead time to do some makeup time to keep rolling with the eyes and the homies of course a this is gonna be a second I really didn't think that this was gonna be a long video and here I sit it's gonna be long so favorite movies let's talk first of all we got to get the iconic ones out of the way right from the gate um, Harry Potter all of them love Harry Potter big big Harry Potter fan obviously um, from Harry Potter we also have some of the classics from when I was younger um, including but not limited to major pain if you've never seen that oh my word down periscope girl what are you doing with your life if you've never never seen the fart scene from down periscope you're not living unless you've seen the fart scene from Down Periscope. Oh, just thinking about it kills me. So, Down Periscope, obviously. Um, oh, oh, anything with Polly Shore in it, Son-in-Law in the Army Now, iconic movies. Um, I really also like, from when I was in, I think it was high school, The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, great movie. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other ones. Oh my god, the Mary-Kate and Ashley movies when I was younger. <gasps> like, um, what's the, uh, the Paris one, um, the, oh my god, the one where they go to friggin' Paris and, and they have, they get the butler to eat the hamburger and she has to try snails or some nastiness. Oh, 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 come on. It take, It's not It Takes Two, although that's great too. Passport to Paris. Boom. Yes. Came out in 1999, and let me tell you, that would have been 10-year-old Paige. 10-year-old <gasps> Paige was living her best life with Passport to Paris. Oh my god, and then of course, two years later, we have Winning London. Oh, that was uh, another great movie. Keep in mind, I'm not even listing like my favorite movies at this point, just movies that I loved throughout my life. Um, but now let's go ahead and get into shows, because your girl really, really has got some opinions when it comes to those oh do I want to use this orange think I might mm -hmm. think I may I think I might fly with dragons in a land of light dragon tails dragon tails I wish I may I wish I might fly with dragons in a land of flight light oh my god what is wrong with me the word is a part literally I never would have thought that word okay well that answers that question. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh my God, that color is so good. Um, let's talk shows. So I'm super bummed because my one of my favorite shows, Star, that got canceled. I do watch Chicago Mad and Chicago Fire. <gasps> Chicago Fire is so good. I also watch, of course, Station 19. I love that show. I do watch Grey's still. Um, I do, what are my other favorites? Another show, I'm like gonna go through my history right now, but another show that I love, I'm almost through, well, I'm not almost through. I only have 26 episodes left, but the show is Brothers and Sisters. <gasps> I love that show so much. It aired back in like 2008, I wanna say. Um, I also watch Dawson's Creek, The O.C., and Golden Girls. Those are just ones that I'll like throw on for background noise. <gasps> oh my God, Queer Eye, oh my God. If you, if you love makeover shows and you don't watch Queer Eye, who are you in life? I also love Friends. That's another one of those, like Dawson's Creek, The O.C., Golden Girls. Like, I'll throw that one on. <gasps> MASH is a classic show. I love MASH. 
Um, I love the Gilmore Girls, obviously. That's so good. One Gossip Girl, I forgot that one. Heart of Dixie, also good. The Ranch, love that. Oh, the Night Shift, you guys, oh my God. I loved The Night Shift so much. It's another awesome show that got freaking canceled. So good. One of the best movies ever created was To All the Boys I Loved Before. Good job, Noah Centineo. Amazing job, Netflix, for picking that up. Guys, I just talked for so long, and I did literally nothing, by the way, and now my camera battery's gonna die. So I better better change that. This video is gonna be so long. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I'm sweating so much. I just had to like put a brush in my hair, try to pin it up. This whole section isn't pinned, so that's nice. Um, but the next question that I saw on the list was if you could collab with any brand, who would it be and like what would the product be? And I think for that one, honestly, one thing that's really important to me is affordability. I obviously do have high-end brands I would love co to collab with, don't get me wrong, but I would also love to do a collab with a brand or like a business or whatever that was affordable so I'd love to go ColourPop or BH Cosmetics something like that um, there is a piece of me too that would also love Maybelline because I love so many other products too um, but I think really like theoretically speaking it would probably be ColourPop or BH there are also high-end brands I would love to collab with as well I'd love to collab with like Hourglass um, the products wouldn't be super affordable but I know the quality would be there and I respect the hell out of Hourglass like their stuff is really really nice and then the other part of the question is what would the product be and I definitely think the product would depend on who I was collabing with. To do a custom set of eye brushes from BH would be amazing because not only are, do I love their brushes and I love the shapes of their brushes, but they'd be affordable. And at this point, theoretically speaking, I'd have a coupon code with them. Um, so y'all would be able to get like five, 10 or whatever it is percent off. abso hell yes -lutely. That sounds fantastic. If I went ColourPop, what are my favorite things? From, I love eyeshadows from ColourPop. Like their summer collection that they came out with, amazing. I would love to do some version of a palette. Um, but I also really like their cheek blush they're super shock cheek blushes those are fantastic um, so I think if it was ColourPop maybe something in that range maybe something in like the springy collection kind of range um, if I were to collab with Hourglass I would want it to be complexion a hundred percent because I have so much respect for their complexion products they are beautiful I literally don't even know what I'm doing for this eye look anymore I'm just throwing stuff all over in the hopes that it becomes an eye look because I just started having fun answering questions and uh, by the way editing page probably hates me right about now because editing page is going to have about four hours worth of footage to sift through <laughs> to try and make this video even close to a short video wow guys, I just think you should know right now that I'm on the verge of mental collapse because I managed to get mascara mascara like it only goes on your eyelashes i proceeded to get it here 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 and here i got it in six spots none of which are my eyelashes how oh my god mask i don't know what is wrong with me today and all right you guys this is the finished look i have no idea what happened in this video there were so many issues along the way and i don't even know what the last thing you saw me doing on camera was but i can tell you everything i used in today's video will of course be listed down below so if you missed something or the product didn't get set on camera i do apologize but editing page like i said she's gonna have her hands full girl and i need to just give her some room to breathe so this is how everything came together obviously i really enjoy the look these are some of my favorite colors to pair together and everything in this video I really enjoy using. I do hope that I answered a bunch of your questions to the best of my abilities. Now there was one other question that I wanted to throw out there really really quick. I know this video is super long but she was one of the first answers to my questions when I put them up and the question was from Countless Creepula probably saying that wrong as well but she said what are some of your favorite face mask treatments etc what are you using lately and just to answer that question again really quickly I've been really in to Tatcha and Fresh those are some of my favorite brands if you're looking for a more affordable drugstore option L'Oreal has some great ones um, but as far as specifically mask wise I've been really really loving the Tatcha mask the one like all over sheet mask I think it's their luminous sheet mask and the under eye mask that goes with it are beautiful and they do great things to the skin um, I'm trying to think what other masks I've really been loving oh I have a I can I'll link it down below for you from Amazon but it is a clarifying mask and anytime I have like intense acne like I have right now I love that mask because it's really really good it's clarifying and I mix that with apple cider vinegar if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen that though I can't think of anything else yeah I can't think of anything that I'm like super obsessed with if you guys have any recommendations please be sure to leave them down below though because I love your guys' suggestions and while we're at 
do you want to see more videos like this one just the chances for you guys to kind of you know spout questions at me whether they're about makeup or me or application or hey what about this that or the other like do you, do you like these kind of videos for me personally these are some of my favorites to watch so I would love to get to film more of them if that's what you guys are into and the next one I do I'll definitely give a little bit more time so that way you can all really weigh in on it before I film it don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter those are both of course listed down there in the description box along with everything that I use today I will have that down there if you guys haven't done so yet please do not also forget you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications y'all know the drill five videos a week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan and you guys I am done talking that is it thank you all so so much for watching please do not forget to have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye couldn't refresh feed I don't want you to refresh feed God. Oh my. that was me I just scared my damn self oh my god Exactly where I wanted that to go. Oh yeah, great. Powder on my pants too. That's what I wanted. God. Twice and also a second round of powder on my pants. Oh my God. Powder everywhere and it's hourglass powder. It was probably $25. Not really, I'm being dramatic, but it was at least $3 and I don't want to throw $3 worth of powder on my pants. <sighs> but apparently I just can't have my bronzer. You can't have the bronzer but I want it in order to answer this question I'm gonna have to back okay rude